Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, I want to use this video to explain how time inversion works in Nolan's new movie, Tenet. This video is 100% spoiler free. It is absolutely safe for those folks who haven't watched the movie yet. In fact, I think it'll be a great idea to watch my video first before you go watch the actual movie. Anyway, let's dive right in. First, please allow me to point out that in this video, dark silhouette means the object under the current perspective is not inverted, whereas the gray silhouette indicates the object is inverted in time. And this pair of eyes indicates the current perspective. In other words, all the scenes you are about to see is presented through the perspective of whoever has this pair of eyes. Alright, let's move on to our first scenario. Here we have two guys and a cat. The guy at the top is the only one that is inverted. You probably won't ask me why he's here, but don't worry, we'll find out in a bit. On the right, we have the time inversion machine with sliding door. And on the left, there's also a working digital clock placed on the ground. The uninverted guy has the eye symbol, which means we will be looking at the scene through his perspective. A better way to do this is to just imagine you are the uninverted guy. And to make the life easier for all of us, moving forward, I'll just pretend you are whoever has the eye symbol. Okay, here's what you're gonna do. You'll first go into that sliding door on the right, then come out right away from the other side. Let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, you started walking, the clock is ticking, the cat is moving forward normally, and the inverted guy is walking backwards to the sliding door. At 8 o'clock and 10 seconds, both you and the inverted guy enter the sliding door simultaneously. When you come out from the other side, you immediately see an inverted version of you backing out of the sliding door on the other side. Then you notice the cat is inverted as well, and the clock on the ground is ticking backwards. In fact, in your own eyes, the whole world is inverted and moving backwards through time. You are the only one that is moving forward. If you wear a watch, you will see it is moving forward normally, which means everything in this world, including the inverted version of you, is getting younger, and you are the only one that is getting older. And you also realize that the inverted guy you saw before you entered the sliding door is actually you after passing through that inversion machine. And technically, you will need to wear a mask after you pass through that sliding door, because for you, the air in the inverted world is unbreathable. But let's just ignore that mask, it's not that important. Let's watch it again, and this time, while we're watching, let's ask ourselves a question. Where are you when the clock on the ground ticks to 8 o'clock and 11 seconds? If you are still confused, let me try another way to explain. I call this the time arrow diagram. Here on the top, we see a black arrow, which indicates the direction and path of time of the world we're living in. The strings of arrow before the dark silhouette, which is you, and the cat, indicates the direction and path of their own time. Please note that these strings are all about time. They have nothing to do with space or geographic location. The yellow strip covers objects that exist at the same time point in regard to the world's normal timeline. Okay, let's repeat the same events we saw in the first scenario. First, you start to walk towards the sliding door, and you see an inverted version of you moving backwards to the sliding door as well, and the cat is just moving normally. Then you and the inverted version of you enter the sliding door simultaneously. When you come out on the other side, you immediately see an inverted version of you backing out of the sliding door on the other side. You also notice the cat is inverted as well and starts to move in backwards. You three keep moving until you all reach the place where you started. I know you may have some questions, but let's move on to our next scenario anyway. In this second scenario, we have an observer at the bottom, which is you. The cat and those two guys, one inverted and one uninverted, are going to do the same thing as in the first scenario. Let's see if you will see something different this time. 
Okay, both guys are walking to the sliding door. One of them is walking backwards. The cat looks normal. The digital clock seems working fine. Then, both guys enter the sliding door simultaneously. But they didn't come out. The cat keeps walking, and the digital clock keeps ticking. But just like magic, those two guys vanished. I know it's weird, but let's watch it again. Confused? Let's see if the time error diagram can help. Again, you are the observer at the bottom. You can see a cat and two guys, one of them inverted. The cat is walking normally, and those two guys are walking towards the sliding door. They enter the sliding door at the same time, then ta-da, they disappeared. You see the cat keeps walking, you yourself keeps breathing, everything's fine, the world is fine, except for those two guys just vanished. You see, the direction and path of the world's time is never affected by people going through the sliding door. What does the sliding door or time inversion machine do is that it turns individuals' timeline backwards. It's just like making a U-turn. Remember we asked ourselves that when you were the one that went through the sliding door, where were you at 8 o'clock and 11 seconds? The answer is you never existed at 8 o'clock and 11 seconds. In fact, you never existed past 8 o'clock and 10 seconds. After you pass through that sliding door, your future is in the world's past. Alright, we've seen two easy scenarios. Yep, those are the easy ones. Now, let's see something more complicated. In this new scenario, we have you at the bottom and a cat on the top. There are two time inversion machines on each side. Your plan is to go into the sliding door on the right first, then come out and go through the sliding door on the left. Let's see what's gonna happen. You start walking, then you see two versions of you, one inverted and the other uninverted, come out from the sliding door on the left. On the top is the uninverted version of you who is walking normally. In the middle, the inverted version of you is walking backwards to the sliding door on the right. Then you and him enter the sliding door on the right simultaneously. After that, you come out on the other side, and noticed there are now two inverted versions of you. The one at the bottom just came out of the sliding door on the right, and the one at the top is moving backwards to the sliding door on the left. Also, the cat is moving backwards now, indicating the entire world is inverted. A while later, you and the inverted you on the top enter the sliding door on the left together. When you come out on the top, the world is normal again. You see an uninverted and an inverted version of you walking to the sliding door on the right. They entered at the same time and never come out. There are now only you and the cat. Again, let's use the time error diagram to show what we've just seen. You started with the cat, then two versions of you came out from the sliding door on the left. You and the inverted one went into the sliding door on the right together. When you came out from the other side, you see two inverted versions of you and an inverted cat. In fact, to you, the whole world is inverted now. Then, you and the inverted version of you on the top enter the sliding door on the left together. When you came out again, the world came back to normal. You kept walking and saw the other two versions of you entered and disappeared in the sliding door on the right together. There are now only you and the cat. Let's take a look at the same chains of events with different perspective. You are the observer at the bottom. First, you see a guy and a cat. Then suddenly, two guys come out from the sliding door on the left. One of them is inverted, and the inverted one is walking towards the sliding door on the right with the uninverted guy at the bottom. They enter the sliding door and never come out again. Now, there's only the cat and the uninverted guy that came out from the sliding door on the left from the beginning. By now, you must already knew what the time arrow diagram will look like. But let's take a look anyway. You are the observer at the bottom. First, you saw a guy and a cat. Then two guys came out from the sliding door on the left. One of them entered the sliding door on the right together with the first guy. Then they magically disappeared, only leaving you, the cat, and the uninverted guy who came out from the sliding door on the left. Alright folks, this is it. You've seen it. The secret of Tenet. Once you've understood it, it doesn't seem that complicated, right? However, Using this simple time inversion mechanism, Christopher Nolan was able to create a very complicated plot. 
but that's not the topic of this video. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my explanation on time inversion in Tenet. And before I go, please allow me to use the time error diagram to tell you a story about friendship. You met a new friend at the bar. You don't know why, but he seems to know everything about you. When the bar is closed, you both walked out to the alley behind the bar, where you were robbed by a thug with a gun. The thug pulled the trigger at you. Your new friend took the bullet for you and died in your arms. But the next day, you ran into him on the street, staring at him in disbelief. You told him what happened last night. He paused for a second as if he was thinking about something. Then he told you that you were so drunk last night and what you've seen is just not real. You believed him. You two then became close friends after that. One day you saw him on the street. You went over and said hi, but he acted like you are a total stranger. You thought he was joking but he was not. Both of you were pissed and parted in anger. A few days later, he came to your house and wants to hang out. You asked him about the other day, he apologized, and you two were back to best friends again. What you like him the most is that he's always positive and optimistic, never bothered by almost anything. He always tells you that what's happened, happened. And it almost feels like that he has seen through everything, including his own fate. He also gives you a feeling that he's hiding something from you. There are times that you can feel he's about to tell you, but he never did. But you know everyone has his own secrets, so you never asked. Your friendship lasted for decades, then one day, he disappeared. You made countless efforts to find your best friend, but all of them failed. Finally, you gave up. You think he must be dead or something, and you will never see him again. Until one day... You found a strange looking sliding door.